Hi, I hope you're doing well. I remember first when ChatGPT came out, I was really happy. I was so excited as a researcher, finding this tool that is going to help me write better. Maybe it's going to help me sort information and brainstorm. I mean, I, be, I was thinking like a lot of potential advantages of it. And indeed, it really is helping. But after a while, I'm, I have in fact hit a wall. With limitation. The limitation that I have with ChatGPT, for example, is that it doesn't have access to books. And as a researcher, I always rely on verified sources as books and articles. And this is so important. And I need to have reference to the book that I'm using. This is so important. Otherwise, I would be using blind information that I can't trust in many cases. Now, I wish that there is a way that the ChatGPT is going to access the book I have without uploading the books to the internet, and which is also another problem. And I found similar, similar application on the internet, but often they are very limited. Sometimes they ask for tons of money and they don't deliver in terms of what they really are, what they, when they claim to offer. And then just by accident, actually, I really did not about it actually is this uh, is this what we call the let me move yeah sorry okay let me move my face you don't need my face here is nvidia chat with rtx which is really really something that amazed me yesterday it was downloaded directly today you find only notify me i don't know why now when it comes to the application the size of the application is really big. Uh, you are talking about 35 gigabytes, which is a lot. And of course, when you talk about in terms of the PC requirements, that's another issue because you need a graphic card. You need at least a very good graphic card in order to run the application. But still, I will run you through the process, how you are going to use it and how you can feed it books. And so, okay. Stick with me and watch to the end. Before you do that, please subscribe to the channel. Supports me. Now let's go. Let's go to the application directly. Let's start it here. Okay, let's go to the desktop. Desktop here. Let's. Okay, desktop. Let's see. Uh, we have Nvidia Chat with RTX. We will start it. You will be greeted with this window, and as you can see, it doesn't tell much. So, and even the information provided with it when it starts doesn't contain just about some games and etc but nothing is going to help you as a researcher so let's start here and see okay so this is what you are going to find as a window and what do we have we have the ai model here we have the folder path and you have the data set which is so important as you can see it doesn't have any information you can ask it about something like a game or something but still really doesn't go to help you with anything for example if i ask it for example what is age let's say for example and i apologize but the given context doesn't have anything so it's not going to help us in, in anything now let's try to help it now i want to tell you something i will so let me share with you something here uh, okay, let's say what I'm working on. I'm now I'm working currently. I'm working on an article, and this article it talks about age, classroom management, etc. As you can see, these are all the files that I have, all the files that I have on this article. So I, for example, education psychology, handbook of classroom management, etc., etc. All the books or the articles mostly that I'm I'm using to write this article. What if I can use all this and find a way that I'm going to talk with my books? So an AI is going to help me to sort the information I have in my books. And this is so important. So what can we do? And I want you to watch carefully. We simply, we can go and we find, we go to the application where it is installed. For example, open file location here. Wait a second. And let's, for example, we see this folder, which is so important, the data set. Now in the data set, you need to put anything like a document or a PDF, they are all supported. So I go to my computer and let's say, for example, I have here the age gap articles that have a set of files here, PDF files. So I'm going to copy all these files and I'm going to put them in the 
in the data set. So now I have put them in the data set, but and I will run the application again. But still, even at this stage, uh, you, will, you will still need to train the AI to read all the books you have. And this process is so important. So we wait for the application uh, to launch, uh, to start. Okay, it takes a while often. And okay, so, okay. Okay, it's starting now. And if I ask again, what is age? It's not going to answer again because still the AI did not train. Okay, so the provided context, still nothing. Now, what do we want to do? You need to go here, as you can see, let me remove my face, you don't need it. Okay, you go here to the data set, you can see that text, PDF, docs, file are all supported, and you need to say folder path, and you see here the data set. So what we need, you said refresh data set, you click on refresh data set, and it's going to read, but uh, from experience, uh, because I didn't find a lot of documentation concerning this application. And this process is blind. I mean, you can't see anything what's happening. So I would say you shut down the, applica the application. I shut it down and go back. Uh, okay, we close it. We go back to uh, launch it again. We start it again. And here the problem that my PC is going to crush for certain because it takes tons of resources from the PC. So I'm going to start the video and see you in the training process. Well, uh, again, after I finished all the process, I'm going to show you what's happened because it really takes time. I mean, it, it's and it is so heavy on the computer. So what happened and you are going to find the, you are you are going to find uh, or at least you'll be you will see this window and it will start the process of uh, calculating, training the data set. And trust me, this process takes a lot of resources. I mean, you have to wait and you need to have a very good PC uh, for this. My graphic card reached like 84 degree. It was running like 100% and it is so heavy in, in the system. And of course, after you finish, uh, you are go it's, uh, going to open again. And uh, let's see uh, the end result altogether. So let's go back and let's open the application again and see what is going to happen. So we wait for the result. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, let's wait. Okay, it always takes time to open. But this time we have like trained data set on, as you remember, I have fed it like few books on the articles I'm writing uh, concerning the age and the association between age and of course, uh, okay, let me remove this here. And now let's go in and ask again the same. So for example, what is age? And let's wait for the result. As you can see now, age is measure of the time elapsed since birth, typically measured in years of months. But I always remember that this is not like from the internet, but it's from a reference. And this reference, in this case, for example, it's going to find. And this is so important because once you click on the reference, it's going to take you to the article that uh, it took this piece of information. And it's not copy paste, but it tries to summarize. Now, let's say, for example, uh, what is the relation uh, between age and uh, teaching, for example? And let's see the result here. As I said, because I'm writing an article concerning this. So, for example, the study found that there is a significant difference between teachers' age in terms of their effectiveness, teachers' age, age 31 to 40. Actually, I've read this article. I have used this piece of information in my article. But now, to find it, it's so easy to get access. Yes, there are ways. I usually use ways to get access to information. But this way is really, really amazing because it reads tons of books. So, for example... Uh, let's try to find another question. For example, what is, uh, because this is the just classroom uh, management and, and uh, is, uh, let's say just is age related to it. Sorry. Let's try to find another question. For example, classroom fair to the choice, action, good. This is nice. And let's see, for example, age is not directly related to classroom management. It was found in study that 
alternative. This is wow. Like, and what's amazing to it, it's like it's provided references. Now, I'm not quite sure, and this is what I want to experience more. Does it take only from one book or does it take from several books? And this is, uh, I'm not sure if it can like uh, link from two references. For example, I go to this book and voila, this is the book that I have. Now, I do think that it is so promising. I have this one particular problem. I'm not sure if it's only take takes like, for example, one piece of information from one specific book, from book, or it can take from several books and combine them. So this is, uh, so let's say, for example, what is teaching? Say if there is, okay, teaching is a process of providing learners opportunities for learning, grow to the world. That's amazing. Okay. But as always, it provides me with one reference. Teaching as a leadership. Okay, this is the, the book. Okay, so good. Let's find a piece of information from this book. For example, uh, the three forms of classroom. Let's let's take, for example, this long-term plans. And let's go to RTX and say, for example, long-term plans. Long-term plan be a long plan that will charge a grouping. Okay. Okay, that's nice. Teaching as a leadership. So again, I'll go to the book. So okay, 119. Let's try to find this page. I'm just really, I'm just experimental with experimenting. Uh, sorry with, with this. And let's say sorry. I will make you dizzy here. Sorry for that. And see what has what has used there. Okay, a chart grouping sequencing. We'll learn. Okay, let's go. Chart a group and sequencing of the learning goals. Yeah, it's sitting matter in your class. I see it's kind of a uh, current learning goals. Uh, uh, it's not copy paste. Good, good. So let's try to find another book. Say, for example, um, how age, how age is related to teaching. I, I'm really. Um, I'm really happy using this application, although it takes a lot. Um, but um, I, I do see the potential of it. It's really going to help me a lot. Of course, I have to overcome the problem that my PC is really uh, struggling to just 30 books. And my library contains 1,900 books. So this is going to be a problematic. So this is it for the application. I really like and um, please tell me your opinion about it. What do you think about it? So I really need that. So thank you so much for watching and see you soon, inshallah.